The Shortcuts app is an app that comes pre-installed on all iPhones. And today I'm gonna to show you my favorite way to use this app. Creating shortcut menus is so useful and I use it all the time. This could be a great place to start if you're new to shortcuts. If you have an iPhone, you should be using this feature. And stick around because I've got a new, super cool way to trigger these shortcuts that I wanna show you at the end of this video. Let's go. Sponsored by Bang Case. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and here on this channel, we focus on building an easy Apple Home smart home. And one of the ways that I control my smart home is through personal shortcuts, more specifically, choose from menu shortcuts. I use these all the time. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you may have seen me utilizing some of these types of shortcuts in past videos. I do get asked about it often, so I figured we'd make a video. This is, again, my favorite way to use shortcuts for smart home stuff, but also really just for any shortcuts. I think creating and using these choose from menu shortcuts is one of the easiest ways to use shortcuts. And like I said, if you're brand new to this, it is a great starting place. The concept it's very simple. In the Shortcuts app, you use the Choose From Menu action to create a prompt with selectable items. You can add and remove items, and for each item you add, you have a section below where you can add other shortcut actions that will take place when that item is selected. And of course, these here can be as simple or as complex as you want. So here's one you could check out. Might have seen this on my new Gobi floor lamp video. This is my studio scene shortcut. And this is just a choose from menu shortcut that I have added to my home screen. It asked me which smart home scene I want to set with a simple menu. Super basic, but I love this because it allows me to integrate my Gobi Floor Lamp Pro and the white noise audio effects into my scenes and stuff like that, easily accessible. That's not something that I can do in the Apple Home app alone, so this has been great. Here's another one that I use all the time. It's given me some options for my Narwhal Robot Vacuum. Since the Narwhal app supports Siri shortcuts, I can utilize the vacuum actions here in my menu. These are very simple examples, but even very advanced shortcuts can take advantage of the choose from menu action. Here's a really cool example called Home Studio. It's all about controlling your home pods. This one lets you do a number of things with your home pods and music and podcasts. And it's using the choose from menu actions as the main way to navigate throughout the shortcut. Notice how the developer has even created a back button in the menu really cool this was downloaded from routine hub which is a great source for downloadable shortcuts by the way i'll put a link to this shortcut routine hub and everything else we discuss down below in the description and one of my favorite ones because it's just super useful to me personally is one that i set up for my action button so this just gives me a quick menu of things that i like to do regularly usually around the house so this way i don't have to search through screens and apps and things like that every time i want to do one of these things the all lights out turns out all my lights I can arm the security system or start my truck. Snap a receipt will open up my QuickBooks app so I can quickly snap a receipt. The grill option will turn on my patio string lights and open my Weber Connect app. These are all things that I do often and having that menu, especially accessible right there from the action button just allows me you know, to do all these things much easier and faster. That's why I think using something like this choose from menu uh, action or shortcut could be useful for anybody no matter what it is that you do just pick the things that you like to do or need to do regularly and add those to your menu to create something like this just create a new shortcut in the shortcuts app we're going to look for our choose from menu action uh, you could search for it up here or it should be under uh, scripting i think choose from menu right there you can put anything you want as your prompt. All right, and now below we see these are our actions. Uh, it comes with one and two, so we can just type anything we want here. And then you'll see below, uh, this is where we'll fill in uh, the actions that we want to actually happen. 
So this first one, we're just gonna say all lights out. I'm gonna do some of the th actions that I showed you from uh, my favorite shortcuts that I use all the time, uh, just as a demonstration. Next one, let's do, let's say turn studio green, change all the lights and stuff in the studio, maybe uh, play some audio on the speaker or something like that. And then for this third one, we're gonna do, um, we'll do the grilling time. And for this one, we'll do like turn on the back patio lights and uh, open up the Weber app like I mentioned earlier. You see once I added those up here, we have the stuff, uh, the different options down here and it shows end of menu right there. So now you can put anything you want up here in these. So the first one is all lights out. So that is just a home kit scene that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna look for the home app and Lots of, uh, there we go. I got a few homes, smart homes, but I'm looking for Watley Resort. Control Watley Resort, that's what I'm looking for. It's gonna place it down here. I'm just gonna drag it up there under all lights out. And we're gonna set the scene and accessories. This is just a scene that I've already created right there, all lights out. There we go, that menu option is done. So I can test this and go ahead and see what it looks like. Choose an action, all lights out, turn studio green, grilling time. I'm gonna stop because I don't wanna turn out the lights uh, right now. For Turn Studio Green, I'm actually gonna use a shortcut that was already created. So this is how you'll kinda of utilize shortcuts uh, from other apps. So like the Govi app lets you create shortcuts, including some of the scenes and different lighting effects and audio effects and stuff like that. So we need to first look for Run Shortcut. So this is gonna actually run another shortcut right there pull this under there now we can tap for the shortcut we want to run all right so set studio green that's a shortcut that actually includes uh, the Govi lamp and the audio effects that'll make it sound like birds chirping and stuff on the Govi speaker and it'll change some of the lamps and stuff in here uh, so again that was created using the Govi app and lastly, we're going to uh, we're going to look for the home action again to control the lights in the home, but we're also going to open up another app. So, uh, Control Watley Resort, move this under Grilling Time. We're going to look for my back porch lights, the string lights on the back porch. Let's see, right here, the Nanoleaf string lights. We're gonna turn those on. We can even pick the color if we want, but that'll be good as is. All right, next we wanna open app. And the app we're gonna look for is Weber because this is what I use when I'm grilling on the back porch, open Weber Connect, and boom, it's really that easy. Now I can go through, I can pick one of my options. One thing I like to do, which is kind of makes it a little more fun, I feel like, is put little emojis next to these. So uh, for this, I can put like, you know, all lights out, maybe put a moon, you know, uh, right here. Maybe I'll put a four leaf clover over here. Over here, I'll put a little steak for grilling time. Done. And now if I run that, it looks like this, uh, so it just makes it a little cooler to look at, I feel like, to add any of these. Um, of course, we could change the name of the shortcut right here, so I'm just gonna call this test menu. And then to add this to your home screen, all you do is tap right there, add to home screen, and then it'll add the icon to your home screen. You can rename it like I just did, and you can also choose the icon here if you want it to show up differently on you know, your home screen, it'll use this icon right here, uh, but that's how you would add it to your home screen. And if you wanna see my favorite new way to trigger my shortcuts like these, check this out. This is the new Bang case, and it's the first iPhone case that gives you a fully programmable button, similar to the action button that comes on the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro, but better since I can program this button to do anything with a single press, a double press, and a long press. This includes running any of your shortcuts, and not to mention just how cool this transparent design looks. I mean, just 
look at how cool this thing is. The case itself connects to your iPhone via Bluetooth and then in your accessibility settings, you can configure your single press, double press and long press. The battery for the case should last 30 days on a single charge and when it's time to recharge, you just use this neat little magnetic cable no need to remove the phone or anything like that. The case will retail for $50 US, but right now you can actually get an early bird pricing on Kickstarter. There's a link to this down below in the description. Check it out while you still can. I've been absolutely loving this thing. Using it on my phone every day to trigger shortcuts and stuff. They even have a bang case wallpaper that you can download, which gives you a little symbol to show where the bang button is. They've also created a shortcuts playbook with downloadable shortcuts that will work great for the bang case. I'll put a link to that down below. And of course you can also use any of your other choose from menu shortcuts like we discussed here today for your bang button. Thanks again to Bitmo Lab for sponsoring today's video and for making just a, such a cool, awesome iPhone case that works with shortcuts. I don't think I've been this excited about an iPhone case in a long time. I hope this video was helpful in showing you one of my favorite ways to use Siri shortcuts. If you wanna see some other useful shortcut ideas, check out this video right over here where we go a little bit deeper into creating shortcuts. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.